Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and I'm the CTO and co-founder of DC Spark, a crypto ecosystem builder company. And in this video, I want to talk about Catalyst. So for people who don't know, Catalyst is the Cardano treasury and DC Spark has actually made multiple proposals to Catalyst in the past. And I want to talk in this video, talk about proposals we've made in the past and proposals we'll be making this round. So I think DC Spark has done a great job of really stretching every single dollar we've earned to maximize the contribution to the community. And in fact, this is the goal of DC Spark. DC Spark is a crypto ecosystem builder company. So our goal really is to take the whatever funding we receive and push the crypto ecosystem as much as we can with the funding we get. So two proposals that we've passed and, and, and finished is one of them was a Cardano evangelism. So with the funding we got, we hired a Japan company manager, we hired a technical writer, we hired a Japan strategy lead, and with that, we've been making technical material in Japanese. We've been participating with the Japanese community. And we also helped organize an event near Tokyo that was kind of a blockchain conference in Japan where we're talking to Japanese companies about how they can build on Nilkamera, build on Cardano, and build with Plutus and all the other technologies in this ecosystem. Another proposal we made was to upgrade the, uh, the Cardano Rust SDK to have Alonzo support. And so if you've noticed, there's been a lot of dApps on Cardano shipping in the browser. Basically, all these projects are actually using the Alonzo changes that we helped make. And so it's great to see that so many people are, are kind of leveraging the work um, that we built with the help of Calus funding. And there's other proposals that we've made that haven't been uh, made public yet, aren't done yet, but we're hoping to release some early next year. For example, we created a multi-sig coordination system for Cardano that leverages Milkamera, and we'll be hopefully uh, open sourcing that early next year. So we've, we've have made multiple proposals and I think they're all going great. And I think these will have kind of huge impacts in the Cardano community. And for the proposals we've done, I think they've already had quite the impact for the small amount of funding we actually got to, uh, to do this. And as such, we want to make, you know, more proposals in this following Cal's round to kind of continue on the momentum we have and continue, you know, really pushing the ecosystem. But DC Spark has grown to almost 30 people now and so we needed to make, you know, different uh, proposals in different areas because DC Spark really wants to be a holistic ecosystem builder company, right? We're building core contributions to Cardano itself. Like I mentioned through the Rust code base, we're building a wallet and we're building, uh, you know, Cardano improvement proposals based off wallet specifications. We're working on smart contract related projects like Fracata. We're working on layer two like Milkamera. We're working on off chain with Urbit. We're really, you know, covering the whole breadth of the crypto ecosystem. And as such, we want to make multiple proposals. But the problem with having multiple proposals is it's kind of hard for people to keep track of. So we decided to split proposals into three categories. So we have the first category, category which is DC Spark Core, which is like core R and D that we think will really drive a lot of value to uh, Cardano itself. We have DC Spark Extended which is not stuff that's core R&D, but could help complement the core R&D work that we're doing. And then lastly, we have DC Spark hackathons. So our company has a lot of experience doing hackathons and both our time at, at Emergo and at other companies. And we have a huge amount of connections in the VC space and the entrepreneurial space. And we want to kind of leverage those connections for hackathons, but we weren't sure which ones the community wanted us to prioritize, which kind of hackathons they wanted. So we made a few different Hackathon proposals, and we'll see what the community thinks and which ones they want. But these uh, proposals, the funding for these proposals are not for us. The funding for these proposals are for the prize pools for these hackathons. So we're basically seeing, uh, you know, what thing people want to have prioritized, and then the catalyst funding we get will become the prize pool uh, for these hackathons. So what is DC Spark Core then? Well, there's actually a few proposals in this category. The first one is Cardano Omnibus which is a, basically a UTXO management system for Cardano. So if you think about Cardano as it stands right now, many users have a lot of NFTs in their wallets. They have a lot of native assets in their wallets. And the problem they get is that it becomes hard to manage their UTXO entries because of the way Cardano works. And so you may often see people on Telegram, on Twitter, or on other platforms like, oh, like if you're having issues, try CC Wallet. But then if you're in this situation, oh, maybe you're always better. And if you're in this situation, You've tried Nami or try this other wallet, tried Flint. And because all these wallets all have different algorithms, it, it, you know, sometimes one works better than the other. And at the core, it's because Cardano used to have, you know, research 
into the best way to manage this kind of wallet state before multi assets were added to Cardano. And th this has never been really updated after multi assets have been added. And so we need a, a new kind of holistic system that does input management, output management, and you know really manages your wallet to make sure that you can always make transactions at a low cost, at a steady rate, and, and you're never really stuck in any bad situation. This would be usually useful for wallets. This would be usually useful for exchanges. And exchanges often have solutions to these problems, but their solutions are often proprietary because they specifically don't want other exchanges to kind of have this advantage. And so we want to build a kind of open source solution and tie that into the Rust SDK so that any dApp on Cardano, any wallet on Cardano, any exchange that wants to integrate Cardano will have a, a you know state-of-the-art system for managing their UTXOs. The second proposal we, we want to make is Fricata Fractionalized NFTs V2. So if people, people may know, we released Fricata as one of the first, if not the first, completely open source, free to use uh, MIT dApp on Cardano. We open source every, everything and want the community to basically use this as a reference for how to build smart contracts on Cardano. And we've had quite a lot of companies and NFT marketplaces reach out to us about Fricata and, and how to integrate fractionalized NFTs in the proposal in their uh, platforms. There's two problems with Fricata. One of them is that it was never audited. And so we've had a lot of interest in integrating this technology into uh, projects like NFT markets and uh, marketplaces. Um, but people are kind of has, uh, hesitant to include, you know, non audited code, uh, which is totally reasonable. And the second one is that Fricata V1 was for fractionalizing single NFTs. So you would take an NFT and fractionalize it. But for a lot of DAOs, um, we thought this was probably not enough because of the way Cardano works, permissions for DAOs are represented in NFTs. So if you have like an Oracle, your permission to update an Oracle is through an NFT um, itself. And so we wanted people to be able to fractionalize not just a single NFT, but a bag of NFTs. So you could take a bunch of NFTs that represent different keys, different pieces of art, whatever you want, and fractionalize the whole bag. And so this fractionalized NFT Fricata V2 includes an audit of Fricata and also this NFT bag functionality, which I think will be super useful for DAOs. And the fact that it'll be audited will mean that this will be integratable into a lot of marketplaces and really help um, you know companies uh, integrate this. And remember, Fricata is not something we're launching as a product. It's something that we're launching as a standard for people, to, other companies to integrate in. The third proposal is for scalability research for Cardano. And notably, you know, we want Cardano to be able to scale to nation um, scale. And the problem is that nation scales requires, you know, thousands of transactions per second. And Cardano doesn't get to that to that level and, and really no layer one really does without making uh, huge sacrifices on, on decentralization. So we need scalability solutions. Now there are scalability solutions in Cardano, like, like Hydra and many other efforts that could spend an hour talking about. Um, but as, as mentioned in the proposals, these all target specific, specific use cases, specific usage, pa usage patterns. And rollups are a different kind of scalability solution that actually has a different kind of use case, different kind of, of usage pattern. And so we think this will be a hugely impactful research to allow people to deploy um, site chains, be able, be able to deploy layer twos, and um, to help scale Cardano, really get it to the you know um, nation scale that it needs to be at. And so we've been actually doing scalability research for a little while now, and we have some research partners that we've been talking to to kind of get this research to the next level. And so this Catalyst proposal is to help us, you know, really continue that research, engage more researchers, um, and and start building out uh, concretely this kind of scalability solution. So. Um, this one is, is, is slightly more open-ended because you never know really what really happens with research. And so the Catalyst funding is only for 75K, which is not a lot of money for a scalability solution. If you look at protocols like ZK, ZK Sync and Optimistic Rollups, these are all multi-million, you know, double-digit, triple-digit million uh, proposals, uh, projects. And so we're asking us for 75K to do some initial uh, research on the topic, um, get researchers involved. And, and build out a roll-up solution specific for um, projects um, that could build on Cardano. And we have, I think we have some really good ideas that um, you know, other ecosystems, that aren't, ecosystems aren't really looking at. And that'll be kind of um, great for us to, to get out there. The other uh, proposal that we're making, the fourth one, is for smart contract upgradability. And so right now, 
um, Ethereum smart contracts, they have standards for how to make upgradable smart contracts for people who want to deploy a kind of basic smart contract first and upgrade, upgrade the protocol as they make changes and then eventually decentralize it fully later. Right now, there's kind of no um, design pattern for this on Cardano, but we've been thinking about this a lot and we think we have, you know, an idea for how to get upgradable smart contracts in Cardano um, done well. And so this proposal will be to kind of formalize that into a smart contract, do a write-up about it, probably do a Cardano improv improvement proposal to standardize that and bringing that out to the community so that any project that wants upgradability can basically follow the standard and get that functionality built in. And the last one is on the same line. So we noticed a lot of DAOs want voting uh, on-chain voting for their DAO and uh, basically with these DAOs need upgradability like I mentioned earlier but these DAOs also need on-chain voting and so we've been uh, thinking a lot about on-chain voting and how we can tackle this problem and we think we, we've come up with a solution and so again we want to implement that solution get it audited and then get that pushed out as a Cardano improvement proposal and get that uh, usable to everybody in the community as a you know MIT completely open source uh, DAO. So this is, this is the summary of Cardano Core. This may sound like a huge amount of stuff, um, but actually we're only asking for 200K for the entirety of all these proposals I just mentioned, which I think is, is not a lot of money. Um, but you know, at DC Spark, we try and really maximize um, the amount of money we get to um, R&D. And you know, um, that's the kind of end goal of our company. And so we try and, and skim as little amount of money as, as possible, spend as little on overhead as possible. Uh, we really want to, you know, take this money and push it straight to R and D to really push the protocol as much as we can and leverage the experts we have in our company to really advance the ecosystem. Um, so if that sounds exciting to you, I really hope you, that you will support our Calus proposals. I'll have a link in the video description um, and definitely follow us on social media as well because, as I mentioned, we have some proposals that we've been working on from previous founding rounds. And we've been writing blogs about these proposals and we have more open source code coming out related to these proposals. So definitely uh, follow us and, and stay up to date. Thank you very much.